What happens when you put crayons in the microwave? Crayons are a wax-based writing and drawing medium. Crayons have been around for a long time, with some people suggesting that wax-based drawing media have been around since ancient Roman times. The modern crayon gained popularity in the late 1800s and early 1900s. Countless companies were manufacturing crayons. Companies such as Milton Bradley, Munsell, and perhaps more widely known, Crayola. Crayons are primarily made of paraffin, a soft solid substance composed of hydrocarbon molecules. Hydrocarbons are molecules that are made of carbon and hydrogen atoms. Generally, carbon atoms are linked together in long chains with hydrogen atoms bonded around the outside. Paraffin contains chains that are between 20 and 40 carbon atoms long. Now, light can interact with molecules in different ways depending on the energy of the light. High energy light, like x-rays, can throw electrons off of an atom in a molecule. While UV light, which is a little bit lower energy than x-rays, can cause electronic transitions, moving electrons between energy levels of the atom. Lower energy light, like microwaves and infrared light, are not strong enough to move electrons. Instead, they cause vibrations and rotations in the molecular bonds. Infrared, being higher in energy than microwaves, would vibrate the bonds of a large molecule like paraffin, which could produce some heat. However, microwaves aren't going to be high enough in energy to vibrate bonds in paraffin. It's possible that the microwaves may cause some torsion in the paraffin molecule and produce a little bit of heat, but it's more likely that small amounts of moisture, that is, water molecules, that are trapped in the paraffin will produce the heat necessary to melt the paraffin. Water is a very small molecule, and it moves around a lot when it interacts with microwaves, and that produces a lot of heat. Now, paraffin melts at a relatively low temperature, just 37 degrees Celsius, or 100 degrees Fahrenheit. So that means it can melt on just a really hot summer day. So if we could even just get a tiny bit of heat from the moisture in the paraffin, then there could be enough to melt the paraffin. Now let's see what happens. Well, it took quite a bit longer than I expected, probably because such a small amount of moisture is in the paraffin, but we were able to melt the crayons. Thanks for watching. You can support the Science Classroom by liking this video and subscribing to the channel. Leave a comment. You can make a suggestion on what we should try to put in the microwave next. You can support us on Patreon by clicking the link.